Hello and welcome to this session, where we'll explore how to configure a network to support the Dante protocol. Dante, our digital audio network through Ethernet, is a powerful and flexible protocol that enables high-quality audio transmissions over standard IP networks. I'm Jason Melbati, network solution engineer working for the network business division. Today, I will guide you through the essential steps to configure a network capable of handling Dante. We'll cover how to prepare your hardware, configure your network switches, and use Dante software for optimal setup. Let's start with a quick overview on what we need to set up a Dante network. First, we'll see how to configure IP interfaces and VLANs on your switches to optimize communications between Dante devices. Then, we'll move on configuring multicast settings and quality of services, which are crucial for efficiently managing audio traffic on the network. And finally, we'll finish by setting up Dante devices using Dante controller and perform tests to ensure everything is working correctly. So get ready to transform your network into a robust and synchronized audio solution with Dante. Let's get started. Let's begin with a brief overview and key highlights. Dante protocol developed by Audinate is at the forefront of audio networking technology, enabling the transmission of high quality and compressed audio over standard IP networks with exceptional low latency. This innovative protocol streamlines complex audio systems by significantly reducing cabling complexity, which simplifies the setup and management of audio networks. It ensures seamless synchronization of devices, enhancing the reliability and quality of audio transmissions. Dante is uniquely scalable and flexible, perfectly suited for environments ranging from small studio to large-scale operations. It supports both unicast and multicast audio streams, allowing for versatile network configurations that can easily adapt to existing network infrastructure without the need for extensive modification. Setting up a Dante network is straightforward with the right hardware and software. Here is what you need. For the hardware, use the network switches like the Alcatel Lucent OmniSwitch 6360 or 2260 to manage the audio data efficiently. Then, for the audio equipment, you can equip your setup with Dante-compatible microphones, speakers, and mixer for optimal sound capture and output. For the computers, you can ensure they have sound cards, the correct drivers, and Ethernet port for the network connectivity. And lastly, for the software, you can install Dante controller to configure and manage your network. And if you use non-Dante devices, you can also install Dante via. Let's move on with some use cases. For the first one, it is a stadium use case. In this one, Dante connects commutator microphone to stadium speakers and live cameras. All controlled from a central room, this setup ensures clear, synchronized sound and video throughout the venue. For the second use cases, it is a laboratory test, which Dante tests audio by linking a microphone to a PC, which sends sound directly to another PC, and speakers, which is perfect for precise audio analysis. So now let's move on to some configuration on your web interface. So for the first part, we go to layer two, VLAN management and VLAN. So there you can create your VLAN. For me, it's already done. It's VLAN 100 and Dante Network as a description. But if you want to add it, go to plus, put a number, for example, 10, and a description. You can also add a port directly if you want. For me, it is three and four, so it's done. And then submit. You can verify if your VLAN is correctly created, and then go to VLAN port association. So as you can see, the port three and four are already linked to VLAN 100. But if it's not, you can click on plus, select your VLAN, your ports, and the type. For the second part, we'll go to networking, IP, and configuration. Then to interfaces. There you can create your interface. So we'll call it Dante interface, for example. Submit. For me, it's VLAN 100. And then modify it and put all the information needed. For example, IP address, subnet mask, and so on. For the third part, 
will still stay in the networking, but this time for the IP multicast. So go to IP multicast, IP switching, configuration, VLAN, and then select the VLAN. So it's VLAN 100, modify it, and enable the right options. So you have to enable IP multicast, multicast state, querying, zapping, zero base query, and you need to put also a last member query interval to one. And that's it. And then submit. When it's done for the last phase, go to quality of service and go to group and port. So there you will select your ports. So port three and four, you modify it. You put the trusted as yes. It will be no by default and the dev class to DSCP. And then submit. You will do that to each port that need to be trusted. So now we have done all that we need on the web interface. So we will switch to the last uh, configuration on Dante controller and Dante VR. So before starting the Dante controller and Dante VR configuration, make sure Windows output and input audio source and destination are correctly configured to Dante VR. So now we have two PC for the laboratory use case. So the first one is the audio source. The audio source is uh, currently on my headset, which is enabled on the first PC. So this one is the second PC, which is the audio destinations. And I have my headphones enabled. So now I will uh, check the clock statue. So both devices are synchronized. One is leader and the second one follower on the primary V1 multicast. So if we check the device information, everything is fine. And now on routing, just click on the hit box and wait. So now the subscription statue is connected and also the multicast is on. So now everything should work. So if you speak on your microphone, you should hear correctly on your headphones. Let's highlight the key takeaways from the Dante audio networking protocol. First, simplicity and scalability. Dante offers scalable audio solutions that simplify setup by eliminating the need for complex analog wiring. Second, compatibility and coexistence. This protocol supports both unicast and multicast streaming and is designed to work seamlessly with existing network standards, ensuring broad compatibility. Lastly, audio performance optimization. Dante improves audio performance with precise synchronization and easy configuration, leading to superior sound quality across your network. This point underscores Dante's ability to streamline and boost audio networking in various environments. Now we have reached the end of our guide on how to configure a network to support the Dante protocol. So now let's recap what we covered today. We started with a prerequisite, ensuring you have the right hardware and software. Then we configured IP interfaces and VLANs on your switches. Next, we saw how to configure multicast settings and quality of services for efficiently managing audio traffic on the network. And finally, we set up our audio devices using Dante controller and tested the configurations to ensure everything works seamlessly. By following the steps, you can transform your network into an audio solution ready to handle high quality and low latency audio transmissions. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this guide has been helpful in setting up your Dante network. I'm looking forward to interact with you on this, but also on other topics on Spacewalker's platform. Until next time, stay connected and thank you for watching.